Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Marsesi BT2541C tripod with the EB2 ball head. And I'm not going to expect you to remember that, I'll put links down below. So this is a really decent quality carbon fiber tripod. Very strong, very lightweight because of that carbon fiber. And when I say very lightweight, I mean it's not pocketable, but it's less weight than it would be if it was uh, aluminium. So it opens like this and then uh, you've got these little stops and the legs are adjustable in several different places. You have these things that you pull back and as you pull back, you can you know set them to stop at different areas. So uh, I think there's three different places where I can stop, which is there, there, and there. We've got this adjustment over here for raising this up and down, which uh, you know, really nice and solid, uh, really nice quality connections. And um, yeah, yeah, I really like this. And uh, these things are rubberized. It just feels good in the hand, uh, nice quality. Now with these leg locks, uh, it's you know decent quality and very nice and solid. But with these twist locks, I always find that I have to spend a little more time with them. It's a very, very small difference, but I have to spend a little more time with them compared to click locks. I like the quality of this. It's, uh, I also like the fact that you can store it like this, although it won't fit back into its own bag, but I find that it is easier to just store it like that. And then it's really nice and quick to open and close. If you wanted to close it to fit it back into its own bag, you can do that. I don't love these, um, th these locks over here. So they make it a little bit more time consuming to close this back up. So you do this and then you'd make sure that the head is aligned so that the legs can close around it. Opening it up is nice and easy. You could put a slider on it, it would hold the weight. It might have a little bit more sort of unwanted movement compared to a really thick tripod. So let's take a look at that. So I've got this now extended all the way and what I'm gonna try and do is try and see if I can sort of get this to move. This is completely overkill test-wise for using together with a camera, but I'm testing this because you know, video shooters we want absolutely just the, the toughest thing that we can get. Uh, as you can see, there is a small amount of bending, definitely less than, uh, because they're carbon fiber, they are much stronger for the weight than aluminium. As you can see, I'm, I'm really putting some effort into that, into trying to bend this, and it's moving the tiniest bit. So very strong, uh, still not, not what I would choose to hold a slider, but very, very strong for the weight. So I'm just gonna lock that really nice and tight and see if I can get any, any sort of unwanted motion Nope, that's really nice and solid. Because it's carbon fiber, you're paying more, but you're getting a lot more for your money. That's locked. Now, half turn, half turn, half turn, and the camera's released. That's not an issue with this. That's on every single Arca Swiss system that I've seen. Most people with Arca Swiss don't complain about that. I also use, like the Joby ones don't have a safety system. Comparing them to large video heads, they always have a safety system, and I would like to see that on smaller heads as well. Nice uh, quality lock on here, locks really nice and tight. So once I've locked that in place, I can, I can move it if I use a lot of strength. There's no way a camera's gonna move that. Now we do have a, a nice hook here, so we can actually just connect a bag to this as a system to weigh it down, whether you're working in a windy area or you don't want someone to knock this over, or you want to keep your bag safer than putting it over here so that when you're working, you know your bag's right near you, uh, so someone doesn't grab it. Really decent quality case. It's very protective, very uh, nice quality thick padding, nice quality thick case. The strap here and the strap here feel like they could be higher quality. They don't feel like they're going to rip. They feel really nice and strong, but I think they could be slightly more premium for the price that you pay for this, but not a big issue. Okay, now let's take a look at the Marsesi EB2 bullhead, which is one of the cheaper ones they do. They do have cheap ones in this, and they do have much more expensive ones in this as well. But even though it's one of the cheap ones they do, it is actually a much more premium head compared to most other ones you'll see. So uh, it does have some premium features, and it does feel like quite a premium build quality. So first of all, we have this very cool feature that allows you to control how loose you want this to go. So for example, right now I have it locked, so camera stays in place, and then if I loosen it up, then this goes completely loose. And some people don't want to have that. So for example, if I want this to not go completely loose, then I can can adjust this little screw right here. You can screw it down. Then for example, right now, that's when when that's undone all the way, it's still fairly solid. It can be moved, but it's still fairly solid. And you can adjust that to the exact amount that you want. So if I actually move that back a little bit, allow me to uh, get this a little bit loose, 
little bit looser, but still not completely loose. So that's a really nice addition, which isn't available on most bullheads to allow you to control how loose this can go when it's undone all the way. Then we have a nice pan lock over here. Like a lot of bullheads, we have a nice smooth uh, motion in the pan there. And then over here we have the quick release, which is a nice decent one. Once locked down in place using a screwdriver or a coin, then it doesn't move out of position. It does hold on really nice and tight. And this does have a D-ring as well, which allows you to connect it strongly enough. Although ideally you would, you would lock it down with a, a coin or a screwdriver to get it really you know, locked down with the camera. And this is also able to adjust forward and back, which is a feature missing from most Arca Swiss plates and most other plates from other small bullheads. Now, as I mentioned, I'd be perfectly happy with a tiny little bullhead like this just to save some carrying weight. But for those who want the more premium features of this, then this is a very nice bullhead. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi tools, and lots more cool stuff.